Hey, we're doing glam waves okay. today. It rhymed. <laughs> what we're doing today is we're doing glam waves on Jaquel. So what are glam waves and how are we going to create them? Glam waves are the waves that look like they should be on a red carpet most of the time. Um, but you can use them for a lot of different things. And some curls, when you create them, just kind of when you brush them out, they look like a, a version of them. So I'm going to teach you the tricks into how to um, glam them up. Now, Jaquel's on day four. We've tested her hair a little bit to see if um, they can be created on day four, because most of the time I would say create this on day one. Um, but, you know, Jaquel's mom and she's got a baby at home and so we're not gonna do overly expectation, right? If you're on a Friday night and you're like, I really want glam waves and I don't have time to wash my hair, let's see if we can do it. Yep. So we're going to see um, how that works. And then there's different steps that I'll teach you that you could probably take out and some that you can kind of leave in, but it's going to depend a lot on your hair type. Like, um, there's a thing I'm going to do called patting the hair or back brushing. That one, um, can kind of take it or leave it, right? That that one's just if you really want to amp it up and it's a lot harder to do on yourself than as a stylist. So, you know, if you have somebody around you that can help you with it. So you you can possibly skip that step. We'll see how it goes when we when we get to it. What we're doing is creating the wave like this. It might have just a little less curl up here. I might have to be really strict about how I curl this, but what we're going for is the wave that goes like this and the curl starts like this. Um, I did a preemptive like check and I think it'll work good if we don't have enough curl up here It might be just because we really have to set in the curl So I'm gonna try and pick up the curl up here and see how that works and We'll go from there. So glam waves big tips that you need to know are make sure you curl all the way through to the end Which is something we don't do very often, but you can see how we want to do it now. And then really like rest your curl so that it can keep the curl up towards the top. I'm going to refresh these up a little bit higher. The first ones I did, I didn't even have the iron heated up yet because I wanted to test them. Okay. And then we're going to just refresh this curl. So since I'm refreshing the curl, as I go through the bottom, I can just go kind of fast because it's all curled already, just to keep my curl really consistent for glam waves. So this hairstyle takes a bit longer than most hairstyles we teach you. Most of the time I'm trying to teach you things that are really fast, but this one was a special request. So I figured let's answer the special request and see if we can help you guys create them. Cause I think they're fun to know how to do. So basically the main thing you want to do is make sure that these curls are cooling really well. You want to make sure that um, you've place them perfectly so that they can cool in place. That's so important for glam waves because you're going to be brushing them so much. So if your hair isn't the type to hold it, you'll want to really prep the hair with upstage or um, something else that really has hold in it. So we're at 375 um, for Jaquel's hair. So she curls between 350 and 375. And for glam waves, you just really want, you're going to have to make sure you set in the heat really well for glam waves. So. That's why I just chose 375 because I want more curly curls when I'm going for glam waves. I'm also holding my iron very horizontal, as you can tell. And I'm going up and away because I think the up and away will give more curl at the beginning. Really lifting, I'm holding very horizontal. Here I can change, it doesn't matter if I'm still lifting up here at the end or not. I was just trying to keep my curl consistent. So one of the things about glam waves that I really want you to know is that you, this is something you have to section. Like these curls have to be consistent. The more consistent you can hold your iron, the better off you're going to be when it comes to glam waves. Because your goal with glam waves is for all of the curls to conform together. So the more consistency you have, the better. Unlike beach waves where you want the consistency to be very different. When you're styling on someone else, you're going to hold the iron opposite. So normally I want you to hold it like this with your thumb behind the light. Now I want you to hold it with your thumb above the or the temperature light because it's a lot easier to keep your wrist straight. You can do it the other way, I think, but I don't know. This just makes it so much easier. You place your the back of your hand to the scalp and then you just rotate towards you so that your wrist can be really straight. See how straight my wrist is? But the reason I'm pulling up is because I really want to get 
curl right at the beginning, so this will help the curl form right at the beginning. In horizontal, rotate fast, move up towards the ceiling to get more fullness at the top. If you're doing it on yourself, if you rotate and then move forward right away, if you, if you rotate and then go out to the side or out a little bit, it's very different than rotating this way. If you're rotating and going up, you can also get more fullness right at the beginning. I'm going to review this curl just a little bit. So if you ever see that the top has dropped on one, you can just curl to that other section. And then that should, if you drop it in the right spot, your curl will continue. Usually on glam waves, you can either do a center part or a really deep part, but you can really do so a lot of So you can do whichever you want to do. Okay. I remember when I used to learn how to style hair for a hair company that I worked for. Oh my goodness. Every hairstyle took hours. I was like, this is crazy. No women in the real world can spend hours on their hair anymore. We have stuff to do. Exactly. Things to accomplish. <laughs> Um, so I think it's really important to notice the difference between what happens when you curl towards your face and away from your face on glam waves. I think that's the most important part of this look is what, what you're going for. And I think towards your face is usually a better look for glam waves. Now that we have this done, there's a couple of different things you can do. So you can, this really depends on your hair type. The first thing we want to do though is start brushing. And once you start brushing, you'll start learning about your hair type and how everything is going to move and control, right? Because when you start brushing out curls, it can be very detrimental on some people's hair and it can be amazing on some people's hair. Like right now, it looks like it's gonna be detrimental, but I can tell you that this curl is gonna come back on her more than, you would, than it looks like right now and I'll show you how to bring it back. So I'm going to go ahead and brush. I'm going to try big time in this front area because I want to see, because this I brushed, but I want to see what happens if I go in and spray big, whoops, sorry, Jacob. You You're fine. <laughs> if you go in and spray big time first and then brush it in, because I'm just curious about how that would perform. So we'll see if this section does different. You want to start back brushing. So. To back brush, you go in or pad the hair. So you go in and what you're doing is creating more movement in it, but don't overdo this. This is not something, you're not teasing it to get height and volume like in the 80s, or you know, you're not trying to get that like snooky kind of teasing. You're just trying to get movement back in the hair where it's pushing the curl. If you can do it right in the valley of, of a curl, and push up, that will help even more. See how I did that right in the valley? You can see how instantly the curl starts shaping. So that is a helpful hint, is patting that hair. Don't panic that the curl is going out a little bit. It'll come back. And on this side, I wanna show you what happens if you section a little lower. So if you take a smaller section and you push the hair up, and then another small section, Okay, so let's see how the big time does to push that curl up in, if we can do better with it this way. Okay. So now we're looking to get the curl back in and we're looking to create that first wave wherever it is created. So you have to kind of learn where it's, where it's forming. So you can start kind of brushing that out. So you can see how I'm starting to get a shape in there and getting that shape back in. I know it seems like a crime, doesn't it, to brush it all out to get this, but that's the way glam waves go, guys. I think the big time helped a lot yeah. to keep those curls. Like, that's the exact section I kept yeah. in. Oh, man. Because <sighs> that's the goal of this, is to get more of this look. I like the curl towards your face. Yeah, like I do too. One of the things somebody asked was, you know, if you were parting this, where you would do it, I really think you have to kind of look into what look you're creating and what you're going for to get the exact, you know, look you want. You guys will see I started putting, see how I picked up the curl and kind of put it back in? So I can do that through all of this because I know it'll come back through. I just, after I patted the hair, I have to kind of reshape it so that I can now get them to conform together. 
Maybe I should have used maybe a different brush for this. Maybe I don't want as deep of a brush. Maybe I want a more surface brush because I used to use like a, um, what are they called? A boar bristle brush only. So now you can see how that wave starts shaping in there. So then you can start taking your hairspray bottle and really shaping this in. Or you can use clips if you have clips and you can shape in. So I think that's a good amount to part to the side and back. Okay. So that's what I would do for a glam wave if I really wanted. I think that would be a pretty finished product to me. How does it look to you guys? Does it look good to you? I think that looks pretty good. Okay. In front. Thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see, see you next week. Bye.